Welcome back to the channel. As you guys can see, I'm standing next to the quickest Kia on the market. This is the 2023 Kia EV6 GT. Let's talk about pricing here for the EV6 GT. Starting price is at $61,400. This one comes equipped in at $63,600. And $65. If you guys are in the market for a Kia, be sure to check out South Day Kia and ask for Cello or Tony and they will get you into your next vehicle. Let's take a look at the EV6 GT. This one is painted in this beautiful yacht blue exterior color. It looks good with the gloss black and gray painted trim throughout this vehicle. Looking at these headlights here, they're going to be a full LED headlight with an automatic low and high beam LED turn. So you know with this LED daytime running light here at the lower part of the headlight module. And there's this nice pattern here to to Kia's Tiger Nose Grill, but Kia calls it opposites united with this uh, new Kia logo on top of the hood. The lower portion down here is gonna be an active grill shutter, just in case the battery does need uh, more cooling. There's front parking sensors, but this portion here for the adaptive radar cruise control. It does have a front facing camera and the actual windshield. And this vehicle does offer 6.1 inches of ground clearance. Looking at the side profile here, this has a 114.2 inch wheelbase with an overall length of 184.8 inches. So it's right on par with some of the other electric vehicles in this segment. Looking at these tires and wheels here, this is how you guys are gonna tell that this is the EV6 GT model because of the beautiful neon uh, brake calipers there with these multi-spoke uh, wheels here with the chrome and gloss back finish. These are a 25540 tire wrapped on this 21 inch rim design. Look at those rotors guys, they're massive, they're ventilated and it does and these brake calipers here does give this vehicle really good stopping power. There's some gloss black trim here at the lower part of the door panel with this LED side marker. And this mirror is finished in gloss black. And this A-pillar here is painted black to give it like that floating roof design. Very unique looking door handles here. This is how you guys can tell that the vehicle is unlocked. When it's locked, it will be pushed into the actual bodywork of the vehicle. And this does have this moonroof here on top of the vehicle. But making our way towards the rear, I love this beautiful aggressive uh, rear spoiler here. And the tail lights here are going to be a full LED, which is a turn signal, brake light, and reverse light. Press this area right here. It does reveal the power opening uh, charge port door here. It does have a J1772 plug with this DC fast charge once you uh, pull it out. So you guys can, you know, charge the vehicle at a really high rate. It, uh, Kia says this has their 800 volt architecture. And press this here, and it does power close back. I like the nice dark chrome trim here at the lower part of the uh, trunk lid here. It says GT with the Kia badge, and there's the EV6. And looking down here is going to be some different design cues from the regular EV6. There's rear parking sensors, more gloss black trim, and the reverse lights live down here, which has this nice design to it. And that's the backup camera there. Open up the cargo back here. It does have a power opening tailgate. Once it, uh, once it opens up, it reveals this tunnel cover here. I'll pull this back. It does reveal 24.4 cubic feet of space. Underneath here, Kia does give you some underfloor storage, which is really nice. And once you fold down the rear seats, that expands the cargo to 50.2 cubic feet of space. Oh my God, those birds, bro. After showing you guys the beautiful yacht blue exterior color, I'm gonna show you guys the interior here. But looking at the current key fob, it does have remote start, the smart park feature, the Kia logo. There's a lock, unlock, a trunk release, and a panic button. The key does feel nice to hold in my hands. But as you guys can see here, the vehicle is locked, but rest your finger here and the door handles will pop from out and also the actual mirrors. But looking at this interior here, this vehicle does have its own unique interior with this beautiful aggressive looking seats here with the nice neon green uh, stitching here with the nice piping and whatnot. It says GT here. I wish that it would light up like the Hyundai uh, Elantra N. That would have been a nice uh, touch there, but this does offer heated seats, no cool seats, and they're gonna be manual adjustable. Me personally, I did have a hard time trying to find a good seating position, but getting inside this vehicle, this vehicle does offer 6.1 inches of ground clearance, but this interior is very well laid out with a nice stitching. It does says GT on the actual uh, dashboard there with this beautiful ambient lighting throughout the vehicle on this upper portion of the dashboard, also in the actual door pockets and whatnot. And this button right here makes the vehicle very fast. We'll talk about that in the actual driving scene. Reaching over here to shut the door of the EV6. The door sounds very solid. To start up the vehicle, the push button start is right here. I'm so used to driving every other vehicle and pressing the button right here. But overall, the EV6, the, the button to start up the vehicle is going to be right here. As you guys can see also, it's going to say ready because this is a full on electric vehicle. Two 12.3 inch displays, which are massive. And I have 186 miles until the battery is completely dead. This vehicle gets around 204 miles to 206 miles on a full charge. Keep in mind, it does have the 800 volt architecture. The screens aren't in this vehicle are massive. You can also customize this display in front of you to show you different stuff like your driver information, your compass, your all wheel drive, your driver's assistance tech. So it is very customizable. Over here is for your adaptive cruise control, your driver's assistance tech, it says Kia here 
over here is for your uh, volume and voice controls and there's the GT button you press that and it does give you this beautiful uh, graphic here to the actual display to let you know that you're in GT mode and once I did that it did drop inches down that's your drive mode selector here which shows you normal eco and sport I'm surprised the Kia wants to put eco in this in this vehicle but it does boost up the actual range to 191 uh, miles until it's it does boost up the range to 191 miles until it's empty. There's the regenerative braking here. There's uh, five different levels or four different levels. You also get the iPedal drive, which is basically, basically the vehicle will stop for you on its own. And you guys can, you know, lower the actual regenerative braking as well. And the steering wheel hood does have this nice thick rim with more of that nice uh, stitching here. It's a two-spoke wheel design, which is really nice. As you guys see, it does have ambient lighting here. It's also lined with carpet in the actual door panel here, which is very large. It can fit a bottle and some more additional items. You can power fold the mirrors in. There's your lock control, window adjustment controls. Sadly, it's just automatic up and down for the driver, but not driver and passenger, but not for the rear windows. The materials are going to be very high quality, nice gloss black trim. Aluminum painted door handle there. Over here is for your illumination switch. You can open up the charge port door via this button here. Your trunk release button, electronic parking brake, and your stability control. We'll talk about that once you get into the actual driving scene. The, the turn signal stock feels very high quality. It does reveal the blind view camera, which if you signal left or right, it does show you what's in your actual blind spot. As your hazard button, your air vents are here. Just like on Nero, the Telluride, uh, you guys can uh, press this button here. Now you can mess with the actual climate control. Press this here, they can mess with the infotainment system. So it's really nice tech that Kia throws at you. Down here is going to be for your USB uh, charging ports, which is a type A and type C port. A, another type C port is there and a 12 volt. Good amount of storage. My iPhone 14 Pro Max fits here just fine. Press this button here. It does, it does give you a nice view around the vehicle as well presses here you can look around the vehicle which is really nice i wish that it was the gt model not just a regular uh, gt line uh, but it's that's a small little nick pick but it does offer uh, graphics and whatnot there's an auto hold parking sensors two cup holders a wireless phone charger this material here that kia uses i think it's a recycled material it feels very high quality and it does reveal a very deep sensor armrest there you guys can't put the key fob right here like i mentioned i'm finding it very hard to get in a really nice seating position but the seats are very aggressively bolstered this is why you guys want to go for the gt to get these exclusive seats you guys cannot get these seats in any other trim level besides the gt and above me there's this moonroof here but it does not go into the actual uh, rear passengers uh back there but press this button here it does turn on the full led lights and there's an sos button and your kia connect button is there let's take a look at the glove compartment here it does offer a very large storage in there which is really nice but overall the interior of the ev6 is very well laid out very tech rich and i love this very unique looking exclusive interior compared to the other ev6 in their lineup let's take a look at the interior space of the kia ev6 open up the rear door here this vehicle does offer tons of interior space here the seats also fold down you can recline them as well let's talk about the door panel materials here it's going to be the same carryover material which is really nice gloss black gray finish and i like this nice texture here to this upper portion of the actual door panel this is sway alcantara finish here with the meridian sound system more that texture finish cup holder here in the door pocket and it's also lined with carpet and there's more gloss black and gray painted trim here it's going to be two level heated seats back here and the suede arcantara continues onto the actual armrest here but getting into this vehicle this vehicle does offer 6.1 inches of ground clearance so pretty good step in height for this to be a quote-unquote suv i do have a decent amount of foot space underneath the driver's seat this is why i have the seat to drive there is no map pockets back here surprisingly but kia does give you some usb charging ports back here but shutting the door here but there's the vent here on the pillar here and the seats do not slide forward and back but you can fit three people across and there's this uh, flat floor here like i mentioned you can fit three people across and this does have this nice recline function which you recline the seats and above me is going to be full led lights throughout the cabin with this moon roof here which lets more light and air into this vehicle once you open it up because it does have this darkened interior putting this all rest down here it does reveal some storage and two cup holders but overall the back seat of the ev6 is very practical especially for someone that's over five feet tall let's take a look underneath the hood of the ev6 gt here and the million dollar question is does this ev6 have a frunk and the answer is going to be yes because kia does offer a frunk but it's going to be very small 
to fit the mobile charger or you guys can put some takeout food so it doesn't stink up your cabin but you guys can still see some components here for the vehicle but shedding this back here let's talk about some of the powertrain specs here for the ev6 since we have the hood open this uses kia's 77.4 kilowatt hour battery pack this vehicle makes 576 horsepower and 545 pound feet of torque kia says this vehicle can tow 2300 pounds as it sits here it weighs around at 4700 pounds it does have e all-wheel drive and it uses a one speed reduction gear and kia says this vehicle can charge at 350 kilowatts so that means 10 to 80 percent in around 18 minutes so it's very fast to charge and keep in mind this does use this kia's 800 volt architecture kia also claims 0 to 60 in 3.4 seconds so I'm behind the wheel of the fastest Kia that you guys can buy as of this filming. This is Kia's EV6 GT here. And this vehicle does offer 576 horsepower and 545 pound-feet of torque. Let's do a slight acceleration run here really quick. Let's press the GT button here. Holy shit. Oh my God. Holy shit. Oh my God. <laughs> that's crazy like i mentioned 576 horsepower the fastest kia that kia makes as of this filming the fastest kia ever and all you have to do is just press this gt button and you have full acceleration oh my god this thing is freaking bonkers how fast this car is kia says 0 to 60 in 3.4 seconds or 3.6 seconds so it's still a quick car that you guys can buy under seventy thousand dollars it would put shame to some porsches which is crazy and it's i'm i'm so speechless i'm just speechless right now these seats in here i do find them comfortable but, but at the same time very hard to get a good seating position they look very nice I like the, that it says gt here but it is kind of hard for me to get comfortable in these seats i like that they're aggressively bolstered of course befitting of the gt name and visibility wise it has a Good visibility um, the pillar here is a little thick but if you're sitting left or right you can't see what's in your actual blind spot but this vehicle rides really good for this to be a performance vehicle in wherever you want it to floor it you can floor it and this vehicle will get up to speed really damn quick but let's do another acceleration run real quick oh my god this car is intoxicating and you can use the paddles here to make it you know come to a complete stop I'm gonna hold down the traction control button here and I'm gonna let this motorcycle pass. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my freaking God, <laughs> this car. <laughs> I'm having too much fun. Keep in mind this vehicle, like I mentioned, will do zero to 60 in, in around three seconds or so. And, oh my God, I'm so speechless. This car is literally putting a smile on my face. It has my heart racing, but it's not scary dangerous, but this vehicle, is pretty freaking quick and this, this vehicle can also tow 2300 pounds and it weighs 4600 pounds but it's so quick on its feet it doesn't feel like i'm driving a massive vehicle it does offer tons of rear space for the passengers at 39 inches of rear legroom space there's charging ports back there two level heated seats and you also get three level heated seats for the driver and passenger but these seats being the way that they are kia couldn't equip them with, with cool seats um, that's why you do get uh, three level heated seats instead. The tech in this vehicle is really nice, but <laughs> you cannot deny how fast this car is. Let's do another run. <laughs> I can't help it. It's just too intoxicating. <sighs> and with that, with uh, before I got this vehicle, it was at 93% uh, percent a state of charge. And I was looking at around 80, 100 and, 188 miles. Right now I'm at 160, 167 miles, but let's do a brake torque here and see if that helps the vehicle. Oh my God, what in the, f <laughs> this thing has torque steer. This thing is crazy. And that's the speed limit, by the way, guys. I am not breaking the speed limit in this video whatsoever. I am keeping it under 30 miles an hour, but this vehicle is just so damn quick. Oh my God, my heart is racing. But the tech, once again, it's beautiful. These massive two 12.3 inch displays, the blind the blind view, the blind view cameras here which is signal left or right the tech in this vehicle is just so superior it's so good um i haven't driven none of the other electric vehicles in the segment but i'm gonna just say that personally speaking driving the ev6 gt here this vehicle in my opinion will put shame to some other some of the other competitors like the porsche uh, like i mentioned in the beginning of the driving scene here the porsche is quick but 
this vehicle makes the Porsche look a little slow, but overall, you know, the Porsche is still quick uh, for what it is. I haven't driven that vehicle yet, so in the near future, hopefully, once I get behind the wheel of one, I will let you, I will um, give my intake on that. This vehicle does offer this bright heads up display. And guys, I have to do another run just because why not? We're in the EV6, the quickest vehicle that Kia makes out. And also, I'm so sad to report the Kia Stinger is finally dead. It's no longer being uh, made after this model year. Um, Kia did kill it off, I think due to the lack of sales. But now I want to say this is replacing that, especially with this being an electric vehicle and it does offer this amount of horsepower and torque wise. But, oh my God, that's the speed limit. <laughs> that's the speed limit. I'm just having so much fun. But if you guys are tired of showing your passengers how fast your vehicle is, you can just press this button here next to the GT button and you can basically drive in, in Eco. With Eco, the acceleration is toned down here, but I'm getting, I'd actually gained a lot of range. Right now I'm looking at a 100, 181 miles until the battery is completely dead. This vehicle does offer 300 and 350 kilowatts of charge. That means 10 to 80% in about 18 minutes. It uses an 800 volt architecture, so it's pretty quick. And to tell you guys the truth, since I've been since I've been behind the wheel of this vehicle or been filming this vehicle in general, I have seen a lot of electric vehicles all of a sudden. Um, I do see a lot of them here in my local area, but since I got behind the wheel of this vehicle, you just see so many um, Teslas, so many Porsches. Um, and people, they stare at this vehicle because they're trying to figure out what is this car. It looks so futuristic for the exterior styling. You guys have heard me say that before. I'm not a big fan of the exterior design, but it's kind of grown on me. That's This is the way the industry is going, fully electric. And you, um, you're going to see a lot of uh, different uh, design cues from from different manufacturers. And Kia is one of them. They're just throwing, you know, whatever at the wall and, and hope, hopefully that it sticks. But the, 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 design, uh, the design of this vehicle here is really... You know once again it's starting to grow on me um but if you guys you know are trying to oppress your passengers the gt of the ev6 is not going to disappoint but driving in eco mode it does tone down the acceleration feel but it does offer still adequate power still but if you guys are looking for the ultimate when i mean ultimate kia that will blow the doors and make your heart accelerate faster than it normally does the Kia EV6 GT is definitely not going to disappoint. After spending time with the quickest Kia on the market, the Kia EV6 GT, as you guys seen from my driving scene here, offers tons of acceleration. And it's pretty damn scary. It literally put a smile on my face. At the same time, it made my heart race. But this vehicle does offer tons of practicality. It does offer tons of space for the rear passengers, cargo space. And you guys can get over 200 plus miles of range. If you guys are looking to make this your commuter car, me personally, I think the EV6 is a good uh, option, especially from Kia, it offers best in class warranty tons of acceleration like i mentioned this is the fastest kia on the market with that being said hope you guys have enjoyed this full review here on the 2023 kia ev6 gt be sure to check me out on instagram at drive on reviews hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications and i will see you all in the next review